What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you guys how to update the software of your AirPods Pro clones. Now this is going to work specifically on the version 4.5 with the Tiger Builder motherboard and with the Roha 1562A chipset. Now this is going to be working specifically on the Danny version 4.5 that I previously reviewed on a channel and it is also going to be working on the Sam version 4.5. The reason why you'll update your AirPods Pro clones is because you experience some bugs, such as some static noise ANC or some hissing noise in transparency mode. Now please note that static noise ANC sometimes is actually completely normal to have. When I got my Danny version 4.5, I did experience some hissing noise on the right side of the earbuds. So I decided to update the software of this AirPods Pro clones and it did actually fix that issue. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to actually update the software of your AirPods Pro clones. It's very simple, very easy to do. Now before you actually do that and perform a firmware update of your AirPods, AirPods Pro clones, make sure that you got the same chipset and the same motherboard because if you're using the wrong files update for your AirPods Pro clones, you might actually permanently break your AirPods Pros. And this is also going to be working on a SAM version 4.5 since it uses the same motherboard and the same chipset. And previously in a SAM V1E video, I did mention that SAM is now not going to be providing any Apple logo box due to confiscations of the products from customs. You're also going to be getting the Apple tags just like always. So let's do a quick unboxing of the SAM version 4.5. As you can see, um, the one that you're going to get is going to be very similar. The only difference is that you're not going to have any writings like that. So inside the box here, we got the SAM version 4.5 with the Aroha 1562A chipset and of course with the Tiger Builder motherboard. Now for those who are asking what is the difference between the Danny version 4.5 and the SAM version 4.5, both of these, like I said, is going to have the same exact chipset and motherboard. The only difference is that the quality control will be different, the engravings will be different, the packaging will be also different, um, the quality of the hinge, the snap of the lid, um, the pairing button in the back might be slightly different. Although they use the same chipset and motherboard, they are built in a different factory. So there might have some difference, some very minor difference out there uh, when it comes to comparing of both of these products but overall battery life on these are gonna last pretty much up to eight hours per charge uh, as previously mentioned on the 90 version 4.5 so both products are going to be really good very similar specification so okay, under this box we're gonna have like we saw before um, a charging cable which is lightning to USB-C and finally we do have some ear tips right here the small and the large if this video gets to 10,000 views, I'll be giving away a brand new set of SAM version 4.5 as you can see right here, still sealed in a plastic, haven't used it at all, still brand new. But yeah, um, all the rules will be down in the description. All you have to do is simply be a subscriber to the channel, give a big thumbs up to this video, and comment below why do you want it, and also include your Instagram account. If you do have one, it's going to be more easier for me to be able to contact you if you are the winner. But anyways, all the rules will be down in the description. So one of the difference between the Danny and the Sam version 4.5 when it comes to the software is that the SAM version 4.5 is going to have the serial number in the about page. So I'm going to show you guys right now, just here, SAM version 4.5. As you can see, we got the serial number right here with the engravings um, on top of the lid right there. So there is some Chinese words on top, but we do have the serial number right there, which is the same as the about page right there. Today version 4.5, there's actually no serial number um, the about page i'm going to show you guys right now i'm going to connect the danny version 4.5 just got to find it in the bluetooth settings and here we go connect them tap any information and as you can see there's no about page so right now i'm going to show you guys how to update the software of the airpods pro clones now once again make sure that you got the correct product because if you don't have the correct product and using wrong update files Air detection, pop-up animation, pressure control might stop working, and the seller is not going to be responsible for that. So to perform this update, make sure you got an Android device, mostly not going to be working on an emulator on your computer, on your laptop, on your MacBook. Doesn't matter which OS you're on, as long as you got the ABK app right here called Air Reps, you can find it on Google, you can find it on Reddit, 
or you can download from the Play Store the official Arabs app. For this video, I'll be using the APK app instead. So the first thing you're gonna do is simply connect the AirPods Pro clones to your Android device. Once the AirPods Pros has been connected to your Android device, all you have to do is simply open the Arabs APK app. And once again, I'll have all the update files for um, specifically the version 4.5 down below description. Next thing you'll do is simply tap on here, choose a device that you like to update, such as the Sam version 4.5 or the Danny version 4.5. It does detect an Aroha 1562A chipset. Tap on connect. Tap right here. Here we got some information of the actual product. As you can see, we got the chipset, we got the firmware, the date, uh, and the month, the year of the firmware. Obviously, it might not be the latest version out there, but it is going to allow you to fix some issues if you're currently experiencing any. So what you're going to do right now is on the top right here, we got the left, the right photo, and then of course we got the um, ROFS image. What you're going to do right now is simply download um, the update files from the description below and then save on your phone. Once you have that done, simply tap on the left channel photo right here and then go to the whatever documents uh, folder that you have saved the file. So for me, it will be in the download section right here, tap on download. And I got it right here, the latest um, available software update, tap right here. So you're going to pick on the left photo, which is the second right here, tap there, and then tap on select. And as you can see, we got a file right there. So right now for the right photo, do the same thing, tap right there, downloads this, and then pick the right photo, which is the last one, and then tap on select. Finally, we're almost done. Tap on um, the ROFS image, go back to the folder, pick the one that it is, which is the first one, and then tap on select. Now that we got all three files right here for the left, for the right earbuds, and for the last one right there, once again, making sure that we've got our product connected to our phone, make sure that your case is also opened. And then what we're going to do now is simply scroll down and then tap start photo and that's pretty much it so tap on start photo as you can see it is currently updating the software of the airpods pro clones we've got the agent percentage going up i believe it's going to go up to 50 percent and then the partner uh, percentage right here is going to start moving up to 50 percent and as you can see the partner percentage is slowly going up so it's basically slowly updating the left side and the right side. So once this is done at 50% on both sides, it's going to ask you that transformation is complete. Click commit to reboot device. All you're going to do right now is we scroll down and then tap on commit. And then as you can see right here, it is going to be disconnected. All you have to do right now is simply reconnect um, the earbuds to your phone. So it's very simple. All you have to do is simply go back right here and then reconnect there we go they're reconnected go back to the arabs app and it says rebooting as you can see once again be patient and as you can see it is at 51 percent 52 percent and going even higher and yeah, don't click on start photo once again, just let it be, let it wait. So as you can see, it says transformation is complete. Click commit to reboot. Once again, tap on commit. And then it says rebooting. And here it says disconnected. Go back to your Bluetooth setting and then reconnect to um, the product, which is the Danny version 4.5 in my case. As you can see, they're connected go back to the app for a second time and as you can see it says photo complete so this means that it has been successful been updated you're good to go you can test the product on your ios device or android device you can use the flick app and yeah that's it for this video this is pretty much how to update your uh, airpods pro clones specifically the version 4.5 tiger builder if you guys got any questions come up below in the description this is going to work on the Danny version 4.5 or the sam version 4.5 i'll have all the links to the product to the software to anything uh information down in the description so yeah once again thank you so much for watching if you guys got any questions come up below in this video make sure to give a big thumbs up subscribe to the channel if you haven't already got much more videos coming soon to your way other than that thank you so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace out Take off.